Many claim that Micah, chapter 5, verse 2, shows that Jesus has always existed and he was thus never created or brought forth into being. Let us read this verse from the English Standard Version of the Bible. But you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. This translation, and many other translations, do not present Jesus as having been in existence from eternity past, but rather it states that his coming forth is from ancient days. In the context, the Messiah is not revealed as being Jehovah, but we find that Jehovah is revealed as being the God of the Messiah, and the source of the Messiah's strength. Let us read Micah 5, verse 4 from Green's literal translation. And he shall stand and feed in the strength of Jehovah, in the majesty of the name of Jehovah his God. And they shall sit, for now he is great to the ends of the earth. This agrees with 1 Corinthians 8, verse 6, which shows the Father is the source, while Jesus is the instrument. However, some translations render Micah 5, 2. Similar to the New American Standard Bible Translation But as for you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you one will go forth for me to be ruler in Israel. His goings forth are from long ago, from the days of eternity. Many translators ignore the Hebrew word for days and simply render it as from eternity or from everlasting, or something similar. As far as I have been able to ascertain, no translation I know of renders the Hebrew phrase found in Micah 5 verse 2 as days of eternity, eternity, etc., any place else in the Bible except in Micah 5, verse 2, and that evidently for the very purpose of making it appear that Jesus was never created. Thus, citing this scripture as proof that Jesus was in existence for eternity past is simply a circular argument, saying, because we believe that Jesus has always existed, we will render the Hebrew phrase here as days of eternity or simply as eternity rather than days of old, ancient days, etc., and thus because we have so rendered it this way in the verse, it is proof that Jesus was never created. Forms of this same phrase appear in Micah 7, verse 14, Deuteronomy 32, verse 7, Isaiah 63, verses 9 and 11, Amos 9, verse 22, and Malachi 3, verse 4. In none of these verses do I know of any translation that renders the phrase as days of eternity. This phrase basically means days of long duration, days of antiquity, days of ancient times, days of long ago, etc. I suppose it is possible that it could take on the meaning of days of forever, but so far I have not found any instance in the Bible that the phrase means such. The only place where anyone seems to think it refers to eternity past is in Micah 5, verse 2. 
Thus, it still remains that the only reason to think that this phrase in Micah 5, verse 2 should be an exception so as to be rendered as eternal, everlasting, etc., is due to the preconceived idea that Jesus is uncreated, that, contrary to Colossians 1, verse 15, Jesus is not the firstborn creature. Verse 4 in the context, however, shows that the Messiah is not Jehovah, and thus, indicates that the Hebrew phrase in Micah 5, verse 2 does not mean days of eternity. See the comments below for links that provide more information.